With us now is John Platt. Uh, and he has so many accolades, that's why I usually don't read off a piece of paper, but I'm going to. John Platt, uh, cold calling WMMR, evolution of WXRT from late night to 24 hour, getting by MTV News, broadcast schools, freelance writing, memorable interviews with Lowell George. I mean, this goes on and on. John Lennon, Jerry Garcia, uh, Richie Havens, Emmy Lou, uh, Ron Stant, uh, uh, Roseanne Cash, it goes on and on. Bobby McFerrin. I mean, this is ridiculous. John, this is your life. Well, yes, 50, 50 years. years. 50 years of radio. 50 years of radio. Who would have thought it possible? Congratulations. Thank you so much. And congratulations to you for, you know, your 10th anniversary. Thank you. It's all good. Thank I was you. lucky that I uh, got into radio professionally as, uh, in college. So, you know, who knows whether that would have happened now, but uh, I was in Philadelphia and Chicago and then New York. It's been wonderful. It has. And uh, you're also known for like being this like person that um, kind of collects folk and all different types of genres of music. You're kind of like a music aficionado, if you will. Well, sort of, yeah. Where did that passion start for you? Well, it probably started back in the 60s, you know, what, like a lot of people, I got into music, you know, and there was the folk era, but there was also the rock era. As it happens, when I started at WFUV, which was 22 years ago, uh, they were doing kind of a folk format, and I've continued with that on my Sunday supper show, which is now on Sundays from 5 to 6, and uh, what I've been celebrating uh, this spring is some of the highlights I've g had over the years, going back to Chicago with people like John Prine, and uh, Lowell George was uh, the member of Little Feet, and uh, he was on my show two weeks before he died, so that wow. was kind of significant. John Lennon was on the phone, but it was still, it was John Lennon, wait, you know? Wait a second, John Lennon was the phone. Oh, if John Lennon was ever on the phone with me, John, yeah. that's a huge get. Yeah. That's well, a huge, I mean, a lot of these. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Uh, healing power of music. Just, I mean, it's just amazing. Newfolk.org platform, you know, you're an archivist. You right, collect so, that music, you... So what I've been able to do now is kind of, uh, you know, compile it all in a um, website, which I started, a, a, a not-for-profit, newfolk.org, and it's a platform for many of the things that I can't get to on the radio. So it's uh, uh, archives, it's uh, a uh, playlist, it's uh, concerts and blogs and stuff like that. And so uh, I've been looking back on some of those highlights over the years. So yeah, John Lennon was kind of a highlight, you yes. know. Some <laughs> of it was Jerry Garcia was a highlight. Uh, Tony Bennett and Bobby McFerrin more recently was a highlight. Uh, so it's, it's all good, you know. It's all a, a passion for music that I've been really lucky to be able to maintain for all this time. When I first met you, I was a little intimidated by you. Did you really? know that? No. Yeah. Well, we met at the Huntington Arts Council yeah. back in like 1997, and I wanted to do that laugh off. I wanted to do that yeah. comedy thing. And every you guys were like so much more experienced at that time. You know, like you had senior positions, and I was like, I guess maybe in awe. I was in I got a little bit of an. I'm wow. just telling you the truth, you know, because I was like, oh, you know. Um, but then you were like so nice and so kind and so generous, and you and Lou Vaccarelli yeah. and all the team at the Huntington Arts Council. You kind of were the winds beneath my wings, and I was able to pull off the laugh off. Yeah. We raised $50,000 that know. night. That was pretty cool. Uh, it was an awesome thing. And that was actually kind of relatively new to the board then. And we thought, well, we need to do events and you, no one better than you to pull something together. <laughs> and I've been pulling together the show for the last yeah, 10 years. Yeah, I know. Years. Look what you've done. Now, John, I know that you recently have been overcoming a health challenge. Can we talk about that? Sure. Okay. Um, I had a stroke last summer. Uh, it was a major stroke, not a massive one, thankfully, and had, I had great medical attention, great therapists, and a lot of feedback from people, you know, who were so supportive about what I was doing and what I, you know, represent in terms of the music. So the show Sunday Supper was on hiatus for about eight, eight months. It came back in March, and I'm happy to say that you know, I'm 90% right now. You know, I'm not 100%. Uh, I like to say that it's good enough for rock and roll. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a, a matter of stamina. But, you know, when I have something to be energized about, that makes all the difference. I'm so glad that you were able to come on the yeah. show. I really was. I, when uh, Lou had called me and said, John said he'll do it. I said, yeah. yes. Yeah. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. You know, it, it's really a, a celebration of, uh, you know, I talk about the healing power of music. I mean, it's really true. Uh, you know, what radio has been able to do, what you're able to do by uh, t uh, getting in touch with a community, you know, doing good things. And, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, for me, the uh, radio is a chance to kind of reinforce what the better values of people, you know. I, I, uh, 
put together what I call songs of uh, compassion and commitment, you know, okay. and we need that right now more than ever, you know, with what's going on in the world. It's so polarized. So I solicit songs either from uh, This Land Is Your Land or For What It's Worth to brand new songs from artists who are trying to do something to, to bring the, you know, to bring the people together. So I think that what I'm trying to do on my show and I think what you're trying to do with your show is, you know, show people that there are ways that can, they can come together to make a better life. I love that. And you're right. This land is your land. land. This land, land is, is my land. land. Yeah. It's a great one. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, you're thank beautiful. You. Gosh, there you go. Check him out. It's John Platt, his 50th anniversary.